Rise from your grave. Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of The Quake Grave. Now about a month ago, you might remember we had a map playthrough called Unholy Ossuary. This was by Miss Bubbles. And brand new map around the scene for Quake, and uh, turns out she's back with a second map already here. And while Unholy Ossuary was sort of an Episode 3 themed map, this one is for, well, Episode 4, which, as most of you already know, Episode 4, not exactly my favorite episode. But you know what, we're going to jump in, give it a shot, let's check out Well of Lost Souls. We find ourselves in Well of Lost Souls. We have 58 enemies to take out, and 4 secrets to find. And immediately we are in a very... Very creepy place. What sort of place would create a slipgate and put it right here, smack dab in the middle of this disgusting, like, torturous chamber? Who would do such a thing? Got some shells, hit a button, and double barrel shotgun. Okay, I like that. Gives us a weapon right off the bat. Whoa, and a bunch of enemies right off the bat. Oh, man, I am just triggering everybody right now. Damn, I am... <laughs> oh my god, I am doing awful here. Everybody, you'll have to forgive me. I haven't played Quake in a few weeks here. And uh, part of the reason why there was no Quake Grave episode for a little while there is because we had a pretty massive power outage here where I live. About a million people statewide here in Michigan, I guess, lost power, which is a unprecedented amount. Whoa, hey dude. I guess it's the, the most in history. So yeah, uh, while the power was down, I had no access to actually grab myself, you know, some maps to play and record, because otherwise it would have stocked up even though I didn't have, uh, you know, power. I, you know, maybe I should prepare for this <laughs> in the future and actually stock up on some maps to play. But um, the power actually came back rather shortly, uh, for us, so we ended up having power, and I was like, oh, cool, I can record a Quake Grave for everybody. But what ended up happening was that um, even though the power was back, our internet did not come back. So it was a little bit of a shit show for us over here. And Yeah, I was, I was pretty irritated because I really wanted to get an episode out, but hey, I, I managed to squeak one episode out for the, the new Quake Champions beta that's going to be upon us pretty soon, but unfortunately... No playthrough. Which is what we all want to see, right? I mean, we're all excited for Quake Champions, but we want to see some game playthroughs, right? Alright. And I apologize, I haven't really talked about this map yet at all. But you know what? Miss Bubbles, you kind of threw me to the wolves there. So, <laughs> what you got going on here is... Um, oh, I can see some yellow armor up there just waiting for me. Wonder how I get up there. We'll find out in a moment. Uh, we start in the most... Uh, disgusting, torturous cavern you can. I mean, it's 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 just gross. You can tell bad things have gone on there. Now, like I said, the whole premise for this is that, you know, it's sort of an episode four map, but I'm no expert at episode four, but I've only played through it the one time uh, for the Quake Grave, and from what I could tell, this looks very episode four. You got the weird things under the stairs here. Uh, you got these big areas. Whoa, hey! That actually freaked, legitimately freaked me out there. was not expecting a Shambler to jump down. And I never had a chance to grab the nail gun. But yeah, this is this is quite the monster trap, I must say, Miss Bubbles. Can't get up here, can you, dude? Oh, but he keeps getting me. Jeez. Can I get these without... <laughs> <laughs> getting hurt. Okay. So anyway, monster traps, things under the stairs, the arches, the way... This this is another map that immediately feels like, you know, it's it's got the quality of an id software game to it. Or uh, rather, an id software map to it, you know? That must be the exit right there. But it also feels like an Episode 4 map from what I can tell. From what I remember of Episode 4, though, I remember the areas being much bigger. Much bigger and more puzzly. Well, we got the armor. I'm where the ogre was, but... 
Oh well. Let's move on to the gold key. And yeah, okay, I grabbed everything I can here. Oh, not getting the key just yet, I guess. Okay. Quite a trap here. Oh, geez. Things are not working out for me here. I'm glad I grabbed that armor. Wow! What's up, zombies? Good god. Oh, geez. Oh, boy. Did I get you? Wow, did you see that? <laughs> Those are some moves right there. Wow. Okay, that's 13 out of 58 kills. I really kind of want to kill all those zombies, though, because I feel like there's got to be... Let's take some pot shots here. Found a secret area. Not sure what. Just you left, huh? There it is. That was the secret area. Boom, gotcha, dude. Let me grab this here. And we'll grab a secret. Ring of Shadows. And we're gonna we're gonna switch back to one of our normal weapons here just in case, because I don't really want anything too bad to happen to us. Sneak up on you. You guys have no idea I'm even here yet. You're down. Okay, so now we're on a now we're on a good footing here. Who saw me? We got plenty of health here in the wings. We're close to halfway through this, so we're, we're making some good progress. Screw you, dude! Oh god, the grenades right there. There we go. Gotcha. Whew. So as far as uh, talking about the episode four stuff, though, the one thing I will say is that uh, the aesthetic totally feels like episode four. That looks like it's going to be a trap. And it was. I hear a fiend. Nope, it's a, it was an ogre. I'm sorry, I thought it was a fiend. Sometimes I don't know the... Uh, rather, not don't know, but sometimes I'm not sure which noise is what every single time. Passage has been revealed. Oh! Behind me! How sneaky! And I don't need that armor just yet, so I gotta circle back. I love this. I love that that opened to show me which way I gotta go. I know I'm gonna jump down and there's gonna be like some scary thing down here, right? No. Yes, there was. <laughs> it turned out there was a very scary thing. Oh, I got caught in the geometry right there. Keep bringing it, dude. There we go. Two shamblers already, Miss Bubbles. Two. And those knights did come back. Holy shit, there's one in here now, too. You guys all just, like, showed up. Well, my aim is terrible today. Apologize, guys. I am feeling rusty. Wow. Wow, there's one more in here. What are you doing in here? Where did you come from? All right, we'll save that last health pack just in case. We're at 35 out of 58. We are making some good progress here. I have a feeling there's going to be another vor around the corner or something here. I don't want to grab that just yet. I'm only at one out of the four secrets. Where are the other secrets? I knew you were there. I knew you were there. Screw you, dude. See ya. You can stay there. For all I care. Oh my god. This is like a haunted house. Things stabbing me. <laughs> Tight corridors. I feel like a lot of the maps that i played lately have been sort of like that. They've been feeling very haunted house-ish. Not a bad thing. Just very tight, very, very claustrophobic corridors. Oh, right in the face. Come on, dude. Oh, man. I am just... Oh. Getting tortured over here. Thank God for this health. 
So rusty today. All right, we got this really disgusting dismemberment thing going on up here. Yikes. Oh, hey, guys. Holy balls. I did more damage to myself there than the zombies. Oh, that was it right there. Back to where we were. Let's try this part out again. Uh, let's see. We're going to need that. Okay, so I'm thinking i got to run around you guys. Oh, I can't run around you. Okay. Oh, really? Oh, my God. <laughs> okay, this part... This part is a little devilish, i got to say. There's no real good area to, like, launch a grenade. That's kind of what sucks right here. At least at first, it would seem. Okay, right there, you get that that splash damage. It sucks. Oh, shit. Especially when you can't aim, like me. <laughs> Proof positive right there. Take that, ogre. Uh, 51 out of 58. There's only a little bit left to go, it looks like. So let's... What do we got left? Let's just chance it. We got a quick save we can come back to. Holy balls. What's up, Scrags? I got no... Oh, no, I do have nails now. Okay. It's like I have no nails to deal with these guys with. Boom. All right, cool. Uh, in here, I guess? Oh, no! Get away from me. And where's that going to take me back to? This is going to be the end, obviously. Eh, just for fun. Let's check it out. And Oh, hey, fiends. How'd you know I was here? I was just curious about the teleporter. That's it. That's all. That's all there was to it. We'll just go back here. Well, that's a little disappointing. I only found one out of the four secrets. I don't know where the other ones are, but I think... Yep, there we go. That is the end right there. Only missed two. I missed one fiend. Oh, two fiends. There's one in this room, and then there's one right there where I, I just skipped them. So almost 100%, but not 100% of the secrets there. But there you go. That is Well of Lost Souls. Uh, Miss Bubbles, I gotta say that I think that... This definitely feels like an episode 4 map, in a way. Definitely with the traps, definitely with the enemy introductions, that kind of thing. Um, as far as feelings of space, this does not feel like an episode 4 map, but I don't view that as a negative. I think that that's a, a big positive, because for me personally, episode 4 is not, it's not a bad episode. It's just my least favorite. Um, but... Part of the reason why it's not my favorite is because the, the maps are just really big and it's really easy to get yourself turned around and lost and everything. And in your map, it did not feel that way. I never felt like I was lost. I never felt like I was going down, you know, uh, hallways where I wasn't sure where I was going. Um, I was, it, none of it was a guessing game. I felt like it was, it was a, a lot of fun. Parts of it felt like a haunted house. Um, I thought that the enemy placement and usage was really good. Um, that one zombie walk towards the end with the ogre at the end, uh, I thought that that was really clever. Because uh, it ends up that like if you just take your time, be smart about it, you can get through there just fine. Uh, but the first time, first couple of times I was trying to get through that, I was just like, what the hell is this? This is this is insanity. But um, yeah, I, I really enjoyed this one. I think this was a lot of fun, and I, I would look forward to playing more maps that are like this. So good job, Miss Bubbles. I look forward to more of your maps in the future, and I will see you all next time on the Quake Grave. Be sure to check out all of my other Quake Grave episodes or jump into the GGRC show that I've been doing. I think you'll like it.